Hey guys, uh, it's Beach Ilunga back again with another video and today I will pretty much be talking about one of this generation's sensational players. So his name is Neymar. I'm pretty sure you can tell from the title that I will pretty much be talking about whether Neymar has passed his prime or he's still currently, you know, still being able to like produce his best football. So yeah, let's get right into the video, yeah? With that being said, my name is Walia Chailunga and I pretty much post content based on football and um, pretty much everything that you need to know about professional players and some th and things that will pretty much make you a better bowler. Today I'll pretty much be talking about Neymar and you know how far he's, he's gone in his career, whether he's still that top notch player that people um, think he is or some people think he's, he's fallen out um, you know from the, the, the deadly youngster that we knew when he was you know in his 20s and and all that now that Neymar is 30 there'll be a few um assumptions that he's pretty much dropped his his his, his talent and also through the injuries that he's also had it's been quite difficult for him to to like you know stay on top of things but i'll pretty much be going to some detail about Neymar's sensational career because he really has had a really 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 good career so obviously as we as as most of us know anyway Neymar started off at Santos and he made his senior debut at 17. He pretty much helped his team to two domestic titles. That's what pretty much brought him into the into the light and really brought so made people look at him as a really sensational player. He made his Brazilian debut at 18 and pre people pretty much knew him to be one of the greatest um, youngsters at the time when he when he when he was nominated for the Puskas award. And he actually won that that award. I remember that 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 year when he actually won it. He was named the South American best player twice in 2011 and 2012 respectively. And you know, in those years, he pretty much um, played one of his best pieces of football, honestly, because he's been he's been he, he's been an, an exceptional player um, throughout his career. And I think his best time was the time he went to Barcelona. After he was named as the footballing player of the year in 2012. He shortly um, joined Barcelona, and that's when he he started making a lot of noise. And you know, at Barcelona, he 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 formed the trio MSN. So he became one of the most prolific players in world football. You know, with Messi and Suarez both playing, and you know, it was it was a really really amazing combination. I'm pretty sure a lot of us remember the MSN trio, and those guys were insane. Like they they, they did so much together. I think they scored in one season. They scored 121 goals among the three of them so you can imagine how insane that is for most clubs don't even score over 100 goals in a season so just think about that among the three of them they scored 121 even beating um the the bell cristiano ronaldo and and benzema yeah so three players like the, like the the bb the bbc they used to call them the bbc so in that case obviously it just shows the magnitude at which Neymar as an individual and you know as a collective at Barcelona they were so good you could even tell okay these guys are really doing great things and you know it was evident because in 2015 um, Neymar was third in the Ballon d'Or running he came out third in the Ballon d'Or in the 2015 um, edition and then in that in that year he won a treble they won the La Liga they won the Copa del Rey and they also won the UEFA Champions League so you can imagine how much he contributed to being part of that team and then of course after that um, in the 2015-2016 season he, he he managed to win a domestic double with Barcelona again and you know he thereafter went on to transfer to PSG in the 2017 season and that PSG I mean you know they offered him a lot of money he became the most expensive player of all time like he, he went for 222 million pounds <laughs> And he was very very crucial for the club and you know it pretty much put him at the at the top of things and i think he should have stayed at barcelona personally i think he would have been way better way way better off at barcelona than having gone to psg because you know barcelona quite right people would say oh he was like a shadow of Lionel messi here and there what what 
But I think football is a collective sport. In as much as you want to be individually brilliant, you need to have a team that's going to pretty much make you um, a, a, a more more of an asset as far as um, accolades and all that stuff. Because you need to have a good team on, on your side for you to be able to perform. And I think he was perfect at Barca. So him leaving, I think, was purely just for money. Honestly, I think he left just because there was money and, you know, he was, he, was, he was offered this crazy deal. Like I said, he became the most expensive player in the history of football. They bought him for 222 million euros. So that's an insane figure. And, uh, <clears throat> well, at PSG, he did a lot as well. So in the 2019-2020 season, he pretty much attained a domestic quadruple. Like he won four trophies in that season with, with, with PSG. So that's, that's, that's quite an insane achievement to, to have. Of course, some people will say, um, you know, the League A is like the, the Farmers League, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But the guy, I mean, he's, he's insane. He was, he's been playing brilliant football in the Champions League. He has, been, he has been very effective for the club. And I mean, quite right, he's had some injuries which have set him back in his career so far. But the guy is prolific. He's insane. He's a really, really good player. And like I said, for Brazil, he made his debut at 18. And you know, he's the second highest um, goal scorer for Brazil behind, you know, the great Pele. So there's so many things that you can actually look at Neymar and be like proud of and just be like, look, this guy is actually really, really brilliant. And of course, there was, there was another statistic that recently came out where they were showing um, Neymar's, Neymar, Messi and Ronaldo at the age of 30 because Neymar recently turned 30, right? So pretty much they put their, their games, games played, um, assists made and the goals they've, they've actually scored in their careers at the age of 30. So Neymar pretty much has played 600, he had played 657 games, scored 401 goals and assisted 226 times. So that's a really, really good record if you ask me. That's, that's, that's damn good. Like if you look at the assists, he's got 226 assists by the time he's 30. So Messi's statistics, um, Messi at the time he made 701 appearances, um, scored four, 565 goals and made 231 assists. So, you know, Messi is known as the all-round player, right? Let's not forget, this guy is an insane all-rounder. Like, he's everywhere. He does literally everything. But if you look at the assists that he made compared to Neymar's, it's literally just five assists, you know? So, that's 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 crazy. Neymar 226, Messi 231. That's, that's insane, if you ask me, because Neymar is... It just shows the magnitude at which this guy is at. Like, he's, he's a really good player. Really, really great player. And he's effective, not just because you can see his, his fancy touches like Ronaldinho on the pitch and all that stuff. You, you remember, everyone knows how Ronaldinho is insanely good as far as, far as um, you know, being all fancy on the field and doing all kinds of flicks, tricks and all that stuff. That's what people loved to see. But if you ask me in terms of um, goal contributions and assists, Ronaldinho scored quite a number, but his career was, was um, quite short, you know, his career was quite short. It wasn't as long as, you know, Neymar has had a longer career. He's had a better career, if you ask me. He's, he's been more effective, more consistent, and, you know, he's just he's, he's been much better as a player. I think Neymar still has a lot left in him. Quite right, you know, he's got these injuries. I think that's been a thing in his career. It's just something that's been happening throughout his career, especially after the 2014 World Cup. That's, it's, it's, it's nothing new, you know. But the fact that he is still bringing in the numbers and he's still be able he's still able to um push in the number of goals and assists that he's already been able to do and stuff because people thought he's just injury prone this and that blah blah but the fact is neymar is very effective when it comes to gameplay you know put him on that pitch he's going to do everything possible to put his team at the highest level or this and that you know the goal and assist contribution that neymar has is also quite insane he has 627 goals and assists in, like I said, 657 appearances. So that's literally like 30 games short from being, you know, at par with pretty much the games that he's played. So that's how effective and involved Neymar is in his game. He is everywhere. Like he does literally everything a player needs to do in their respective position. You get so it's, it's really nice to see that. And then Cristiano Ronaldo um, has played 718 games. He had played 718 games, scored 463 goals, and then made 154 assists. So with Ronaldo, goal and assist contribution is even less than Neymar's at 617. 
while Neymar is at 627. So that's like a 10 goal and assist um, contribution difference. So it just shows the the magnitude at which Neymar is as a bowler. Like the guy is just really good. You know, everyone knows Cristiano Ronaldo to be one of the greatest footballers of all time. If you just think from the back of your head to say, oh, who do you think is the greatest of all time? Majority of the people, um, okay, not really majority, but a huge number of people can argue and say Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest player of all time. You know? And we're putting Neymar in these guys' bracket to say, okay, this is what he has. And he literally had a better goal and assist contribution ratio pretty much um, at the age of 30. And that's how old Neymar is now. So, I mean, of course, I don't I don't really see Neymar reaching 37 or anything like that um, to a point where he will still he will be as consistent as Cristiano Ronaldo in terms of like fitness and all that stuff. But who knows, you know, he's, he's shocked everyone. Just with the statistics that I've given you today, you would be surprised how brilliant of a player this guy is you know he's really really amazing he's a great player and i think we should still be able to expect more from him in the next coming um couple of years because you know, each time he gets an opportunity like i said he performs the 2022 world cup is coming up soon and i think he's going to really perform at this world cup as well with the brazilian national team so i'm really excited to see that and we'll see where he where he goes pretty much as far as his career and everything injuries a kind of deceiving so it looks like he hasn't really been effective and all that stuff but he's been amazing trust me he's had a really really brilliant career up to this point he can retire and still have his head held high he finished third in a ballon d'or race um you know he's just had pretty much everything except obviously like you know this world cup and whatnot but where club football is concerned he has won everything where he wherever he's played he's literally won trophies trophy after trophy the guy has been an insane addition to the squad so with all that being said, don't forget to comment down below your opinion on, on, on Neymar and what you think he needs to improve on. And, um, you know, aside from his injuries, which he can't really do much about, but, you know, the guy, is, he's prolific, he's insane. And thank you for pretty much coming this far, if you've reached this far in the video. If you haven't subscribed to my video yet, to my, to my channel yet, kindly subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much for, for continuously watching my videos. I appreciate you so much. And don't forget to share and, you know, reach out to as many people as possible who would be interested in, in videos like this. So thank you for your time and see you in the next video.